Uh, what up, my dudes? Hundred dollars to the channel. New vlogs. Welcome, welcome, um, welcome, my dudes. I realized that I did not show you guys how we did the wiring system for the grill. So this is a separate video of showing you guys how we did the wiring system, and also I put the link down below to that video of how to install it. What I'm talking about, my dudes, is this right here. I'm talking about the grill lights. If you guys can see that these actually do light up whenever you want by the switch mechanism that me and my pops installed. And this is how we did it. Like I said, that video will be down in the link below. So we pop the hood, so I can show you guys. And this is our switch that we decided to put right there. Power's on. When the light turns on, means the power's on. And you'll see that the light lights up. Awesome. The reason why I gotta go into depth about it because <laughs> when you guys, before you guys do the installment, Make sure you guys get the wires and you guys get the same color of wires. We didn't have enough wires like we thought we did. So that's why we did a lot of splice and dice and cut and put all together to make it happen. And it's just very confusing because you always want to put the same wire color to the same thing. Instead of having a blue connected to a red or a white or a green to finish off a black. So this did get kind of messy. So I can't really explain to it on this side, but that's why I'm gonna get the computer and I'm gonna show you guys what we did in the switch wise. But yes, the car is off, but with the switch power straight to the battery, we control the circuit to have it on or off whenever I choose to. Or there's a different method how you guys can do it as well. You guys can hook it up to your headlights. So every time your headlights are on, so every time your headlights are on, the lights turn on whenever you're so there's different methods of doing it, but we just had the easiest and the cleanest way was a switch. And right now, the lights are off. One side, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the switch that we got, my dude. So this switch will be down in the description below as well. So you guys can know what switch I got. See, three pins, what we got. And you see the, the light, where it turns blue when the light's on. That's our, this is the switch that we got. It's a good size. That will be down below. Anyway, so we use this switch. So here I made a diagram to help you guys out the best I can from my knowledge and what from my understanding. So here is the grill, and it says with the electric box. So the grill, how it came out with, they had the grill, and it had two wires that you plug in, and then it runs to an electrical box, and that electrical box splits to two different wires. That's where it's talking about the grill with the electrical box. So that's where it starts with. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys that before you guys get confused. So bear with me. There's this one right here. Right here, my dudes, is the the RAM electrical box that it comes with. And this comes out with two different wires that we had to cut, my pops and I. So this, so it starts with these wires. So there's always a positive and negative coming out. And the grill lights are right there that you connect to them and that goes to the gearbox that we cut and the battery okay keep that in mind when I show you guys the, uh, the diagram so the gearbox has two wires that we did we had to cut the splice the wires up so from the trickle box from the gearbox you saw that little white box there is a, a negative that, that goes to the battery and the other one is a positive that one goes to the switch I go to this switch to one of these mechanisms you want to use. Then, like this, you're gonna get two wires, and you're gonna and you're gonna take a negative to the battery, and then you're gonna get another wire and make it that positive to the battery. Make sure you test this out before even putting in the truck, and make sure you flip it before you put it in to make sure you want the light to be downwards or you want the light to be upwards when it's on or off and make sure you guys do it correctly because there is this one that's different because that is a negative you guys can see or is that the positive can't remember but to be honest this is just experiment with the wire before you even put it on together and testing out the circuit and that's basically it my dudes if you guys want to learn how it is it's the grill logical box one goes to the negative one goes to the switch and from the switch you get two wires and get one wire that goes to the negative and one wire goes to the positive. 
and that completes the circuit to having the switch of the grill light on command if you guys want it on command if not there's a different way you guys can do it if you guys can hook it up to your headlights every time your headlights are on the grill light turns on but i think a switch is the best option that's how we did it so i'm just leaving this here you guys can study it and learn it or screenshot it or take a picture of it or you guys can do your own diagram but that's it from the white box from the grill light come out to the switch one of them goes and then one goes to the negative with the wire that you have and get a new wire and that goes straight to the battery as a positive and that completes the circuit and this one goes straight to the negative to have the grill light i hope this video kind of explains more of how to run the switch system but if not then you guys have to um explore and just play with wires and be careful not to get zapped but this is basically it like a little diagram of how easy it is to do it hope this helps the links will be down below for the grill for the switch and how we install the grill so see you guys in the next one so peace out